Again for, from Kells Aquariums. I'm just going to do a quick review of the oh, well, box opening of this and then I'm going to fit it. Now, I got a UV clarifier the other day. Um, but to fit it to this pond, oh, the pipe works so hard to deal with because of where the filter box is positioned. Um, and it's only temporary. The fish you see in there, which I'm going to show you because the water is actually clear form, so plenty of fish. They're coming to my pond very soon. So I just wanted to put a UV clarifier in. So I've been messing about trying to get the one I bought to get on the pipes and the clips and all that. And I just got sick of it because it's only temporary. So I bought this. This is an all pond solutions all in one filter system. It's got, I believe, uh, it's got a UV clarifier built in, 11 watt, big enough for that pond. Really, it's not got one at the minute. And now I've cleaned, you know, the filter's been cleaned and everything. It's all a. It's all crystal clear anyway, but I just thought, well, I'll bang this in. It's a bit of extra filtration, and I get to have a look at one, and it's a good spare for my pond when, you know, if, if things go really bad, <laughs> and I have to just put this in for the time being, I've always got it there. So let's open the box. I'm doing this on me blower, so I am one-handed, which makes it real difficult. So it's also got it's a fountain as well. So it's part of your your fountain. And a bit of an extendable thing. Loads of different head pieces and stuff for the fountain I'll go through in a minute. I'm just going to have to uh, pause this so I'll be back and it'll be out the bag. <gasps> so, there it is. It's a big old brute. That's a UV um, indicator so the UV shines through there to show that it's on. That's obviously where the fountain attaches. I don't know if that just screws in, there's loads of... Yeah, so you get your fountain attachment or just a, a straight up piece of pipe to blow water back in. It sucks in through the top here and it's held together before clips at each side. So I've undone them I believe everywhere. So yeah, just a standard like um, pump box really. So then it, it's this big, big blue car sponge. As you can see, standard, big standard blue car sponge, good inch thick. Um, and then here's your UV clarifier and there's your pump so it sucks water in and then sucks it through your UV just looking where uh, it comes through all these boxes and then you've got these boxes or media which are removable so I will just open them again off camera because my light's a bit bad where I am sorry about that and I'm looking just at a black thing with black things in it so <laughs> But yeah, there is three boxes of media. It's only for a little pond, so you've got the big, if, if it's, you know, it's a very small pond, two and a half thousand litres an hour. So you'd have a bit of mechanical filtration here, with it going through there. And then you've got three boxes of these. So I'm just going to go and see what's in them. Woo, we'll be set. Hello again. So there's the box itself. You see you've got your three bits of biologic filter. What gets sucked, the stuff gets sucked through. And what you get is you get two, oh, <laughs> two tubs of sort of porousy gravel type stuff. I don't know what it is it's specific. No, it's just Yeah, just gravelly stuff. <laughs> Two tubs of that. And you get one of it's like K1 Mini. Which, you know, is alright media but better in a moving bed, but it'll do. It'll hold a bit of bacteria. So we'll lay there a little plenty. I'm not using this obviously for that. This is just I just wanted to clarify it and not to have to plumb anything in on a temporary pump so all I have to do with this is stick this through the wall wire it up to the terminal that's already out there put all that back in and drop it in the pond so it's such a ooh, got some random de there uh, <laughs> just in my Mars garage so it's a big old unit as you can see my hands aren't small and look it's a nice big thing but it is only thin it's only a thin thing so I'm just going to lay it at the bottom of a pond and it'll start pumping some water through, give a bit more filtration, never a bad thing, and clarify the pond while it goes. So, but yeah, stay tuned. I'm going to be building a a new filter for the back of mine to take them. I mean, mine's quite good. I've I've got a filter clear twenty thousand on now, and I've got a, a waterfall filter. Well, my plan is to build the waterfall filter more than double the size it is. Well, it's about four times the size it is. It's going to be a big thing like that but not, you won't notice it, it won't be high, it'll come off the back. And then I've just tons and tons of uh, 
alpha grog and stuff in it and some Japanese matting, some sponges. So it's actually having a good look at these fish. But anyway, that's the deal. Thanks for watching. Bye. We've got the stuff in the bag. <laughs> so these are your other options for on top of the filter. So you, these are your options. You put this on. If you're not, and then what you can do is you can have, so this is your floor thing, just to pump water back out. And then you can have, there is other bits, but don't worry about them yet. Oh, that's not, oh, you're killing me, you're killing me. It's all moving, I've only got one hand. So yeah, on top of the filter will be this. And then you get, if you wanted to run it as a fountain, you just turn that so that the water comes out of there. Or you turn that and the water comes out of there. That's it. So there's a couple of, you know, elbow joints and a thing. <coughs> that, oh, it's a different type of fountain, I believe. You know, different type of. So like you get a bell fountain and you know the different types. It's one of them. So yeah, that's the full thing. Oh, there's another one there. Sorry, no. In there's another type of fountain attachment. So you get a few different types. But yeah, a couple of little kids. for a little pond. That'd be sweet. I say I've had the Blagden all in one before, and. I've honestly, I think I like this better up to now. I ain't ran it, but you know, the Blagden one was fiddly. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. There it is, just running on that shelf. You can hopefully see, you see a bit of a uh, bit of floor coming off it. I've just put it at the top for now because I've only got it for clarifying. But yeah, just sat there. All working, UVs running quite happy with that, it's very straightforward and easy. Thanks for watching, bye.